dear students today we are going to discuss acid or electronegative radicals or anions so first is monovalent in which the valency is 1 so first is acetate CH3C00 bicarbonate SCO3 bisulfate HSO4 bisulfide HS bisulfite HSO3, bromide Br, chlorate ClO3, chloride Cl, cyanate CnO, cyanide Cn, chloride F, formate HCO, hydride H, hydroxide OH, hypochlorite OCl, hypohyodite OI, hypophosphite H2PO2, iodate IO3, iodide I, meta aluminate ALO2, meta borate BO2, meta phosphate BO3, nitrate NO3, nitrite NO2, perchlorate ClO4, permanganate MnO4, sulfocyanide CNS. So, all these are the acid radicals whose valence is 1. Now we are coming to bivalent radicals which has two valences first is carbonate CO3 chromate CrO4 dichromate Cr2O7 manganate MnO4 oxalate CO2 oxide O peroxide O2 persulfate H2O8 silicate SiO3 stannate SnO3 Stanite SNO2, sulfate SO4, sulfide S, sulfite SO3, tetraborate or pyroborate B4O7, thiosulfate H2O3, zincate ZNO2, phosphite HPO3. So, all these acid radicals have two valences. Now, I am coming to trivalent whose valence is 3. So first is aluminate ALO3, antimoniate SpO4, arsenate ASO4, arsenite ASO3, borate BO3, boride B, ferricyanide Fe, cerehole 6, nitride N, phosphate PO4 and phosphide P. Then is tetravalent whose valence is 4. Carbide C, ferrocyanide Fe, Cn hole 6, and pyrophosphate P2O7. So, with the help of these acid radicals, we can frame inorganic compounds or mineral compounds. Because in every mineral compound or inorganic compounds, there are basic radicals and acid radicals that means cations and anions okay if you like please share and subscribe thank you